It's Sway in the Morning only on Shea 45. All right, Sway in the Morning Fantasy Friday. It's 32 minutes into the hour. Yeah. Flow Rider has joined us. Yep. All right. He got the new album. It's fourth studio album, right? Yeah, yeah. Damn, man. It's been a, you've, you've had a, a, a very successful career. Definitely, thanks to the fans around the world. Yeah, wow, did you hear that answer? I did. <laughs> that that man is running for office right here. See, that's the difference. <laughs> See, I could say the same thing to somebody who hasn't been around the world, and, mm-hmm. they'll, and they might say, yeah, man, we've been grinding. <laughs> Good He's look. beyond that. Yeah. That comes with the success. Mm-hmm. You can't get this, this far without having the ability to grind. Right. Thanks to the fans from around the world. How you spoke earlier, you said Japan. Mm-hmm. London. I was speaking you up earlier. Yeah, what yeah. did I say? What I say? Okay. Japan. Uh-huh. Austria. Uh-huh. England. Uh-huh. Switzerland. Uh-huh. Balmain. Uh-huh. He was just going exotic on yeah, you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What? What? <laughs> what? <laughs> In your opinion, uh, you're from Florida, though. Yeah, Miami. Miami, Florida. 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 What part of Miami did you grow Carol up in? City. Okay. And, uh, and, and, and then you got the notion that, man, you know what? I'm going to become an artist. When? When did you decide that I want to be a rapper? Fifteen years old. Okay. Well, what, what what motivated you? What inspired you to? I mean, you know, um, thinking back to like two live crew days, watching the videos, mm. things like that, move something. You know, definitely. I mean, just watching. You know, first start now, you think of the jury, the girls, and all of that, but mm-hmm. you know, um, having a record like Low. Shout out to my main T Pain that mm-hmm. took me around the world. You know, it definitely was interesting and just made me want to get the knowledge on the music business and you know become a commodity around the world. Around the world, mm-hmm. and you didn't. He didn't limit himself. Yeah. Okay. And and I appreciate that because we have this. We have a, a sometimes a, a psychological division mm-hmm. in the rap game where if someone goes mainstream, mm-hmm. you know they go, and especially if you go mainstream first, mm-hmm. they think it's it's you don't have that substance or you don't have that realness, right? right? Mm-hmm. You, you you. I'm sure you've gotten like backlash. From people that really don't matter but i'm sure you've heard this right <laughs> i mean for the most part when you someone who's rooted and you've been doing it for like 12 years mm-hmm. prior to having the success i mean it's just like a uh you, you get your badge of honor mm-hmm. you know when you you get a chance to just travel around the world i mean um just being a fan of the two live crew then also you know performing in the club every week where you know someone was there to see me perform and asked me to be the hype man for two live crew mm-hmm. first gig was going to hawaii so i mean when you get that in your system you get addicted to like you know the the the, the, the great, greater things in life mm-hmm. the greater things. yeah it's going to be a lot of stunning natural yeah, stunning in this yeah. conversation i just want to get you ready yeah okay because <laughs> yeah. you said when you go to hawaii you know how many yeah. people been in hawaii in the room uh but what was your upbringing like what, I mean, what was your family life like? Oh, man, you talk about um, the Black Brady Bunch. You know, mm-hmm. I had seven sisters. I got seven sisters. Mm-hmm. I'm the only boy, the youngest. Wow. I have a twin sister, um, single parent home. But, you know, definitely mom always instilled in me. Even though I was in the projects where it was, you know, shooting, you mm-hmm. know, killing and everything. I mean, you walk outside your door and, I mean, you just got to watch out for a rain of bullets and everything. But mm-hmm. I always was a leader. You know, most of all my homeboys been to jail, sold drugs. But I was the guy to tell them, you know, <clears throat> I ain't dealing with that. You mm-hmm. know, you want to punk me? Look, we could get it, fight, whatever. Mm-hmm. But, um, you know, definitely, I mean, your 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 regular hood guy. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I bet you got a nice knuckle game, right? <laughs> look like you could thumb. You look like you could put them paws on them. <laughs> if need be, you ever shoot off a gun? You ever shoot at anybody? No, I never shot at anybody. I, I find it so funny when I ask that question and people really ask me. I, like, I like that you're like, really? Yeah, yeah okay. Um, all right. I, I'm, I'm saying these things because um, you're the type of person that I feel like people don't know enough about, although they know your music because it's everywhere. And I think with our listeners, when they hear from someone like Flo Rider and see that your beginnings is no different from theirs, they'll draw a lot of parallels. They might aim higher. Mm. Right, right. You know what I mean? You t- I mean, and you know, to everybody out there, for the most part, you know, I don't like to brag or nothing like that. But, you know, you hear a lot of the guys, you know, talk about what they got and everything. I really have all those things because, you know, I was smart enough to realize that. You know, um, you you want to you know want to maximize your career. Mm-hmm. You know, I think of music. I don't think of just rap at this point. I'm a big fan of like Outkast. You know, who I study. You know, um, early on, mm-hmm. and you know, all, <laughs> I mean, 
I've got a chance to, you know, obtain a lot of the things these guys talk about. Some, most of these guys ain't even from the hood mm-hmm. and everything. You you do some real, real homework. And I mean, I just want everybody out there to be smart when you when you're doing music. If if you really want to have, you know, certain things in life and be able to take care of your family, not just now, but you know, future. Uh-huh. It's sway in the morning only on Shade Forty Five.